Hey there folks, this is the Uniform Guy again, here with another video review, this time of something a little unusual. It is current kit, but it is however not issue. This is of a medic's satchel from a team medic in the Raw Logistics Corps. As you can see, it's a flat green with a black cross on it. That is because it is actually a repurposed 1970s Claymore bag. This would have been carried in Vietnam to carry two Claymore mines or one Claymore and the wires required to set it up. You see it's uh, one standard sewn on strap and we've got a black cross drawn on with a sharpie. Now if we undo the two press studs, they're quite tight, flip it over. Now you can see here we've got these weird bits here. This is where the instructions on how to set up a Claymore mine would have originally been. And these would have been for holding certain items used to set it up, such as like maybe cable looms, spikes, stuff like that. But the uh, thing that I had in there, which I pulled out, I'll fold this out, as you can see, UK Defence Medical Services Pre-Hospital report form. So this is basically um, like the kind of document you'd sometimes see a paramedic fill out. It has a person's body, where the wound was caused, you know, what type of wound it was, how it initiated. Let me show the other side. There are other clinical notes like meds given, pulse, heart rate, stuff like that. Pop it to one side. We also have here You've probably seen these before. The Team Medic Aid Memoir. I uh, won't show you inside of it because it's kind of restricted ish. And the uh, Priority Delay Cards, which uh, you would have seen versions of in a previous video of mine. If you haven't seen any previous videos of mine, if you please check them out. Uh, those Aid Memoir cards would have been shown in one of my plate carrier videos. Right, so we see here we've got the two bag, uh, two pouches. This one would have been for the Claymore mine because it's larger, and this one would have held your clacker, your cables, and such. So we'll, uh, oh, the Claymore mine is still used even today in Afghanistan. We we'll just uh, lift it up and show you in there. You see, there's quite a lot of medical equipment, so we'll pull. This one out first, we'll go from left to right, as in all standard videos. You've got the uh, ever famous shell dressing. You see it's the joint operations one, so French on one side, English on the other. Then we've got one. Two. Two combat application tourniquets, uh, still new in packaging, have been used. One Israeli bandage, and one. Oh, this is the. Um, as you see, it's quite worn foil wrapper, but is the uh, Celex. Um, I'm trying to remember what they call it. It's, it's essentially it's like the shell dressing, but it's uh, I think it's got some additive in it, like a clotting additive, I believe. So it's like this one, but there's more to it. And that pouch is out. So let's go this pouch. We've got another. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five Israeli bandages in total. So that's five Israeli bandages, two tourniquets, a cell, was it a cell text or a cell plus X shell dressing, and this here. Flip it over, show you the other side. What this is, is this is a sucking wound dressing. I could maybe there we go the bollin chest seal sucking wound 
sucking chest wound. This is basically, um, that's like a valve which goes over a massive hole in your chest and it allows the patient to uh, continue breathing. Yeah, that's the uh, medical equipment we've got in here. Just trying to see if we've got on the show the contents of the Israeli bandage if I can. It says uh, uh, non deerant pad, elasticated bandage with stage release system, closure bar, no pressure bar. Um, you really can't read that on this phone because it's quite crap. But expiry date on these are the 8th, 2016. So, got a little time left on them. As you can see, if I show you maybe on this one, if you can see all that dirt and grime in the wrapping, just to show that these have been to Afghanistan and not been used. Thank God. Non used med medical equipment is always nice to see because it means no one's needed it. But yeah, that's just a quick view of the uh, satchel that I got. It's a little unusual, being a uh, Claymore bag. It's one of those uh, weird poetic things you think about. Sort of like originally designed to uh, carry items to kill, now carries items to save. Also, something I've just found in here. It's one of the old style wound cards so as you notice whereas that one's got immediate one all it's got is the numbers one two and three so it's an old older style very sort of basic and simple one and uh, this bit here it's like on a perforated piece you just tear that off keep it with the patient but yeah I hope that uh, shows you at least one of my bits of custom kit if I get any more custom kit through that I think people might be interested in seeing I'll uh, certainly do another more uh, another video um, actually just a quick one while I'm at it I've got here I just found one of these cat tourniquets open so what I'll do is I'll do a video on how to set up a cat and how to apply it just in case there's anyone out there who wishes to show it for film or TV but uh, yeah tune in for that video it should be interesting as you uh, see me put a tourniquet on a perfectly fine limb thanks for watching hope to see more viewers soon